not imagine. No, it's been played before. Oh, it has been played before. Yeah. Somewhere. Okay. Uh, I think IG actually are the ones who were play, oh, okay. playing it. Ferrari played it yesterday. Oh, hey! Here we go. This, uh, this is got. Is this the first techies? I know we didn't have any techies yesterday. He was banned a few times. He was banned a few times. So with Ciamora alone, you can pretty much keep up Drunken Haze 24/7. It's a very, very good pick coming in from IG. And the other thing too during team fights is. Back when people used to pick Brew a lot, they're oh, going for it. Snowball. The Tusk Tech is round two. Will they get it off this time? They were going to mine straight down. Go. And this time they do blow the suicide, but heck, he gets in the first blood. That time the combo is a success. But that matchup, oh no, is there TPing? They're going for this? chasing this. Luo blinking forward aggressively. They've got the tombstone. Zizi getting low. Fly is there, has got mana to throw out a couple of spells. He's going to throw out one, but Burning turning up to the fight as well. They're not going to be able to dive this tower. And bottom lane in the meantime, they lose the CM. Z free cam moon. They've got no mercy. Oh, Chuan. Chuan. Oh, he's going down again. Z free turns up to the fight with moon in the snowball. Not a lot that a CM can do against this. Let's see how they do it. Here we go with the rupture to lead in. He's going to look for the TP out. I think. Oh, no, no not with the frostbite. Not a chance in now. And uh, that is going to be him going down at the same time. That bottom lane. Tusk Techies, they went for the combo. Techies there with the suicide, finding the kill onto Queen of Pain. So the item build for the Wraith King, what can we expect to see? Is he going to go for that blink? Ooh, burning. Ooh. Very ballsy TP. Does he go for the blink? Does he go for the blade mail? Or does he go for the BKB here? He might go Midas. The Midas? When you have Techies, Midas is pretty much always oh, good. Luo, he gets the, the slam jam bottom lane. If these item builds are anything to go by. Z Freak and Mumianda moving in smoked up. They've got the suicide ready and waiting. Towards the mid lane they go. Ferrari's gonna be the target, but he's got a blink. You know, he's not gonna be able to get it off because of the setup from flying. Very nicely done. They blow up Ferrari before he has any chance of getting off the primal split. It's the third Midas, right? So Viper Midas, uh No, it's fourth. So Sorry. it's the fourth Midas. Yeah. Wraith King Midas. Bloodseeker Midas. And of course the Midas. And top lane Midas then. Poor old Trump. Never kill that for the dust techies. I don't know if anybody can live through that right now. What level are those mines? Two? Yeah, he's not level 16 just yet, so each one is 600 damage. He can kill Burning here. He's blood raised as well. <laughs> yep. Gotta love techies. Oh, Rip. Double kill. Chuang also dying elsewhere to the yeah. techies. So, uh, he found some mines in the woods. Dying. A little bit worried right now for IG. They're not really able to get much map control going for themselves at this point. Complexity certainly seems to be back on the foot, but we saw them in the NARP E series. And they are going forward. Has got Ramos for for 20 seconds. We're getting low. He's got a suicide event, but if he feels he needs to pop in low, getting low. There's a bit of terse coming in with the control. Queen of Pain low and will go down. Burning trying to clean up though here with a BKB. And here we go. Here's your Bloodseeker turning up to the fight, ladies and gentlemen. Double kill for Burning. And he's looking for Zizi here as well. That's going to be the Ray King falling, but Ray King does have the ultimate. Swing of will be able to bring that through there with the help of the mines from Techies. Zizi and Swing of can they go back in for more? That's the question. Red Roast another get laid out by Burning. Oh, Zizi bringing that to the side. Swing of Manas, where does he go for more? Look at him go with the life still granted to him by Zizi. This is going pretty damn well for him, but the Frostbite from Tron Holding May plays. Swing of Manas for the TP out. Zizi holding, Burning in place, but he couldn't get the hit in. No, he can't. Burning will now TP out himself. Zizi blinks off to the sidelines. Why was he running? And. This man does a lot of damage with this MKB. Oh, yeah. He might just go for it here. I mean, Burning has blood raised himself. Look at the damage here. Burning. One crit. One crit. Oh, oh, he's got a Shadow Blade. Oh, that's going to that's gonna be painful there for Sissy. There is Backup coming in. Oh, he's going to TP out, oh, though. Oh, no. Not the play there for Burning. <laughs> Setting up the spawns here. Yes. Ooh, very aggressive blink out from Lua there, blinking straight into it. Oh, Laguna Blade and the punch. That's going to be your Queen of Pain dead. Now going in for what's easy. He's losing the mana. He's still got enough mana here for the ultimate if he needs it, but only Jesse needs to be very, very careful. Now Ferrari getting the split off. Fly was trying to do what he can. Day Freak is still there. And Moomiander did manage to bring down the Undying. Aether is falling as well, burning with the BKB. Funny up against Watermelon's Tron. He's almost going to fall. He's trying to seize out the Frostbite, holding him back. Now comes the Snowball. It's a killing spree here for Fly. Burning's running himself the hell out of this. Fight. Ferrari's kind of left out here with the Warriors Punch holding him in place. The stun to follow as well. Ferrari will fall. Make a kill streak here for Zizzy. That's Four good. heroes down. The gem retrieved as well. Tier two to fall, and they're ready to push to the base. Like the split has to be very impactful every time it's used. Same reason why heroes of Warlock are very seldom picked nowadays, because if you have an ulti that you use, it's on like a three-minute cooldown. 
and you don't get something in the early game, then it just becomes almost a liability. And I kind of feel like that's where IG are right now, which is it's kind of crazy because Ferrari plays a spectacular route. It's not like he's playing bad. It's just they weren't able to pressure enough. Yeah, I mean, the brew at the start, we saw what he was doing in lane. He was having an absolute grand old time, but now it's getting to the point. Everyone's it's pinging the sign saying... Is there, is, is, there's yeah. probably mines here. We can't see them, we can't do anything about them because of the Ags, but we know they're there. But it's still such a such an annoyance to play against for IG. Tier three's down. How do you stop this? It's I mean, complexity playing at full force. They're going to go for the racks here. And here we go. Zizzy gets the stun out onto Trump. Try now. Necrobes are on the case. Oh, Zizzy in the mana is falling. And up right here. Down for the range of 30. Needs to be careful if he wants to get off his own. Uh, back to the racks. Here we go. Second set of melee racks now. Down. They can't do and anything. Here we go. It's all because of the, the swindle. Has got this completed AC. Second set of the racks down here on the bottom lane. Just the mid racks remaining here for the side of IG along with the ranged rack on top. And as like it's just such a hard game to play around techies at this point. You have Bloodseeker, Brew, and Undying all melee. It's just not it's not a good matchup. No, it certainly doesn't seem to be working out for them so far. Oh, here we go, Ferrari. Looking for a Primus split straight away. It's easy with the BKB, trying to find it through the uh rulings and Oh, they've got to be careful here, the blood right here, moving to the side and chasing down complexity. There's continuous fight burning with the BKB. Viper Struggle is going for it, holding him back. So he's going to put like they've still got these Brulings fighting through this all. Moving out to Blinky Fort with a punch onto Kran. Swindle Melon sends his attention towards the Crystal Maid. That's the Crystal Maiden down. So he's low. He has still just got mana hit for the ultimate, and he's going to need it here. Coming back for round two, Laguna Blade there from Fly, helping to finish off Ferrari. Tech is joined in as well for the fun. And that's two heroes down on the side of IG, neither with buyback available. So he's Moving up to the high ground, looking for the tier three is going to be able to find it. The final set of melee racks are now exposed. They're actually looking for more blood here, and they're going to find it. Luo drops as well. Three heroes to fall. Complexity losing nothing. GG is called. Murica's done it. They win a game against IG after a series that started in a fashion that looked like damn. Complexity are out of their depth, but they come back in game two with an uh, <laughs> incredibly ferocious game. I got to hand it to Complexity, man. They pulled through. Yeah. Again, three they, free wins and one loss today. They silenced the doubters. They say, you know yeah. what? We are here. We belong here. We can take games off the best teams in the world. The, this game, in general, the way that Complexity played it, this felt comfortable for them.